Hey, what's going on guys? So today I have a super fascinating tool <laughs> that uh, is gonna make you feel a little more comfortable in the bathroom, but it's also pretty useful. So this is called a Stall Smart Safety Tool, all right? I saw this on Instagram of all places. I constantly say this. If you haven't heard me talk about it before, if you knew the channel or just stumbled across this video, I find the weirdest random stuff on Instagram all the time, including some new knife brands I never knew about and different types of gear things. This was an ad that I saw just kind of, you know, on the phone, mindlessly scrolling. And it caught my attention because if you haven't seen my story time videos, I have some pretty interesting experiences in my life in public bathrooms. I just happen to have some poor luck. Um, everything from going to the bathroom, you know, where there was a glory hole to, you know, going to the bathroom at Walmart and having a little kid crawl underneath the stall to join me. Uh, that was quite uncomfortable to, um, you know, having gaps in the, uh, the stall doors that are so wide you could probably stick an arm in there. You know, I've had some, some seriously weird things happen. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know, I have kind of a, a going to the bathroom in public phobia. Now, the older I get, the better I am with just doing it. If I am uncomfortable in a store and I have to, you know, do my business, uh, I'm more likely to do it now and just not care. You know, I just kind of suck it up um, instead of making it like a big deal. Because like in the past, that mentally I'm thinking like, oh man, all this stuff's going to happen. Because bad things have happened, I just assume there's going to be a horrible experience in there. And I don't know what my fear is of going in there and just making a bunch of fart noises and taking a big smelly dump. That's what you do. It's a bathroom, right? There's toilets in there. If they didn't want you pooping in there, they wouldn't put toilets. They would just have a bunch of urinals and a big sign that says don't poop in the urinal. Um, so, yeah, I mean, some people are totally comfortable. They know that's the purpose of it. It's not like you're, you know, let's say at a Home Depot and you happen to walk into the break room and start crapping on their lunch table. That would be a little bit different. Uh, they're bathrooms. You're supposed to do that in there. But for some reason, ever since I was a little kid, I just didn't like the idea, you know? So I remember many, many times sitting on the toilet in public, bad stomach ache, whatever the case was, I had to go to the bathroom, number two, and like trying to like squeak out, you know, <laughs> what has to come out without making too much noise. And it makes it worse too, by the way. If you're trying to like crap quietly, that's when you get all the farty noises and, you know, and, and then it like startles you. So what, what happens? You end up pushing more pressure and it makes a bigger, louder fart noise. And you guys know what I'm talking about. I think we've all gone to the bathroom. Did you ever read that book, Everyone Poops? It's true, everyone does. If you're watching this video, you've done it. You, you might even be doing it right now, thanks to cell phones, right? That's how we're getting all of our entertainment while we're taking a dump. That's a whole separate issue because I used to take about five minutes in the bathroom and now I could find myself in there for an hour, which is ridiculous. So I'm trying in the new year, when the new year comes, people are, they have diet, you know, new year's resolutions and I'm gonna stop drinking, I'm gonna stop, cheating on my husband, all those <laughs> nice things. My resolution will be to not bring my phone into the bathroom anymore. But anyway, this has nothing to do with this. So let's get to this. So I'm scrolling on Instagram and I see this tool for the bathroom. And that was like, super intriguing to me. I'm like, what is this thing? I saw it, I read about it, I loved it. I got one of each color. These two are going to specific people for Christmas gifts. All right, I left these in the package, but I didn't want to show you that. Um, Say so the black, the pink, the blue, which I've been using, and they also have a red one, which my wife carries. And these are super useful. I actually really like these a lot. So let me get this out of the way. And the, the first thing though, like my very first critique on this is that when you are just carrying it loose, how you're like intended to, there's actually a key ring on it. I took my key ring off. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but the, the piece just moves around. So if you notice, I have a rubber band on these, okay? So that's just my own little modification, I guess you'd call it. And that is just to uh, keep this thing from spinning when it's like in your pocket or on your keys. Now, I would not put this on my keys specifically. And it's just because number one, my keys are super bulky. Um, but also I don't want this kind of banging around. Um, so let me get over the actual usage. What is this thing for? There's six different usages, they say. The main thing here is this locks the door so it cannot be opened. And the whole purpose behind this, really, the main focus on this is you go to the bathroom and the stall in the bathroom is broken for some reason. The handle is broken off. Or in my case, recently I went to the bathroom. I posted this on Instagram. If you want to see this in use, you can check me out on Instagram. It's Cutlery Lover Jeff. I posted a video. It might even have been two videos and some pictures. 
but I went to the bathroom in public and the gap on the door was so big that when I locked it, the lock didn't actually make contact with the hole. You know, it's the bar that slides across and then it locks it so you can't open the door. Well, this, again, the gap was so far and it's because of the wall of the store got shifted. Um, so the, what the stall next to it I noticed was actually too close. The door wouldn't even shut. So anyway, um, say so yeah, you go to lock, you know, you go in, sit down, you shut the door or whatever and you lock it, but the bar would go here. It didn't make any contact. So the door would just simply open. So what you do is you spin this guy here and open this channel up. You slide this down the channel for the door where the door gap is, and then you tighten it. You know, once it's onto the, the metal there, you, you know, tighten it hand tight. And on the other side, they cleverly have the word in use so that if you're approaching this stall that you're in, it says in use. So if no one has to know what this is, but it clearly shows that someone's in here using it. But for whatever random reason, if they try to open the door, this actually keeps it from opening. It works very, very well. Um, this is just uh, aluminum, so this is getting a little marred up and scratched up, like the, the blue anodizing on it is definitely coming off with usage. I don't really care. doesn't matter what it looks like to me as long as it's actually functional. So the main thing is a stall door lock, right? But besides that, cleverly, you can use this in other ways. If you put this on top of the door, so let's say my hand is like the store doll, right? Or door, excuse me. So originally you're just locking it on the side, but if you actually clamp this on the top, then it becomes a little hook. So you can, you know, they call it a, a coat hanger. You could, if you're a woman or carry a purse for some reason, even though you're a dude, maybe a man bag or something, uh, you can hang that on there. You can hang your hat on there, whatever. If you got an EDC pouch or something you carry with a strap, it just makes it kind of nice. So when you're sitting on the, uh, the John there, uh, you, don't have, you don't have to put stuff on the floor. So it's a door lock. It is a uh, coat hanger. All right, so I zoomed in here so you can see some of these other features. If you look at the second piece here, that actually you know revolves around this rod. This uh, is also a bottle opener because who you know doesn't want to have a, a cold one in the John, right? <laughs> Obviously, it's just an independent bottle opener because why not? It's kind of wasted space, right? So. Like every other good piece of uh, EDC gear, you got to have a bottle opener, right? In case your first one fails, your second one fails, the one in the keychain fails, the one that's on your, your everything, you know. If you're on, you know, bottle opener number nine, well, it's on here as well. So besides that, there's also a glass breaker. So there's a little carbide tip that's pushed into the end of this so you can break glass which is always just a, you know, a bonus type deal. If this happens to be in your pocket all the time, you incorporate it into your EDC, you get into a sticky situation, you have to break glass, you can certainly do that with this. And the last thing, of course, is a self-defense tool. Let me back this out a little bit. This I was actually surprised by because I think it works really, really well. I was punching through cardboard with this. I was trying some harder surfaces, just like any kind of impact weapon. You hit something hard, it hurts a little bit, but I was, uh, I was thought that this would be uncomfortable because the aluminum pieces here have kind of sharp edges, you know, like they're not gonna cut you or anything, but you know, using this as a, you know, self-defense weapon, I thought, yeah, surely I'm gonna hit something and it's gonna hurt, and it didn't. It's actually really comfortable, all right? So you'd wanna get this piece locked down as much as possible. When this is all the way down the threads, mine happens to not line up, so I back it up a little bit here. But if you do put this between your fingers, and use this just like a knuckle duster or something. This is very, very effective, okay? Not only is this point long, but with the glass breaker on the front, you could probably easily, you know, break bone, fracture bone. You could do some serious, serious damage. Now, of course, you would only do this if you have a life-threatening situation. Let me just make that clear. There's a little disclaimer there. You don't wanna just randomly start hitting people with this, but someone is a, a, a threat to your life, all right, and you can't, carry a more effective, you know, weapon to protect yourself. Something as simple as this, uh, you know, toilet lock, essentially, this can actually be very functional. Now, this is the reason that I took the key ring off. The key ring goes into the hole on top there. It does come with a nice split ring. All right, you can see it's a little cut into the, uh, the rod there. Um, I took mine off for two reasons. Number one, I don't want to wear it on the keys, so I didn't need the ring for anything, but also, if I did actually use this for self-defense, I don't want the ring to stop that momentum. I want whatever I'm hitting to, for this to go all the way in. 
So this is surprisingly comfortable to hit stuff with. I don't want to damage my table, otherwise I would, I'd punch it. Um, I was shocked because I thought that these little sharp edges here, these corners and stuff would be terribly uh, irritating to the hand, but it wasn't. As long as this is, you know, these pieces are lined up like this, it's actually really nice. So yeah, that was surprising to me. It's a simple concept here. Obviously this threading all the way out. So you could take this piece off if you wanted to. I don't know why you would, but you just spin that off there and it just becomes two pieces. Uh, obviously you can get that much width. You know, it's some strange random stall that has a, a massive, you know, two inch door. You can certainly use that as well. So it's just two pieces of aluminum, really simple there. Now the last function that's advertised is a purse hanger at the edge of a table. So if you're out, let's say uh, having dinner, you're at a restaurant or something, you can use this, right? Open up the gap here, give that a little spin. And uh, you can um, put this, clamp it to the table here. So once this is clamped to the edge of a table, now you have this rod where, again, the, the, what the advertising is really for is women. So, hey, you have your purse, instead of hanging on the back of your chair, let's say you're in a booth or something, it's an awkward position. You don't want to put it on the floor, obviously. You don't want to keep it on your person. Uh, so many women, you know, carry like crossbody and stuff. They might be a little uncomfortable if you're sitting eating dinner or maybe used to, who knows. But the obvious, uh, um, you know, uh, advertising point is to hang your purse on it. But it doesn't have to be just your purse. It could be anything, anything you want to hang off. Right, so let me show you at the edge of this table. Hang on, let me change the camera angle. All right, so here's the table. I happen to have about yay thick piece of wood here. Just open it up, put it on, and obviously when you tighten it down, I want to make sure it's nice and snug so it's not going to go anywhere. And this can hold a ton of weight. All right, so you're at a restaurant. This is the edge of your table. This happens to be round, which is nice because it's showing that it works fine on any edge. But as we know, most restaurants, the tables are either square or rectangular. But yeah, you can lock this onto the edge of the table to hang stuff off, you know? Maybe you're a single dad and you have a diaper bag with you, you know? Do you want to put it on the floor? Maybe, maybe you don't care. Maybe you just stick in the, you know, hang it over your seat or whatever, but just having the option is nice. This is not really like, in my opinion, made for that. Obviously the, uh, the main purpose is locking the door in a stall, but all these extra little bonus things do actually work. They're just different options and options are good. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So unlock it. In this case, it didn't damage the table at all, but not that you would probably care about a restaurant table, but if you're courteous, maybe you would. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So my only real critique on these, they sell these for $21.99. I obviously have no idea what the you know cost to make these. Obviously someone has to have these machined out of aluminum and anodized, different colors and stuff. Um, you know, it's just one of those things I can't really critique the price because there's nothing to compare it to. Would I like these to be $6.99? Sure, everyone would, you know? I'd also like a value meal at, you know, a fast food place to be $6.99. And that's just not a thing anymore. So I get it, you know, it's expensive. It's a very small company. Um, so I can't say, I mean, it's not 50 bucks or something. I still think that's a reasonable price if you're looking for something like this. I've literally never seen anything even close to it. Uh, so besides price, my only real critique is um, just the kind of sharp corners here. So if you had this on, you know, your keys or something, just having this in the pocket, if this opened up, that would be probably uncomfortable, you know, pushing on your thigh or your leg or whatever. So again, all I did was take a rubber band, it could be any rubber band, right? And I just uh, crisscrossed it here and that's it. It just keeps the two pieces from moving too much. In fact, I think I even doubled it up so that it would be even tighter and that's all. So there you go. So I know seeing it like this, someone's gonna say, well, why are you worried about this when this giant rod with the point can poke through and hit your leg? I'm sure it could, you know, if you're in a certain position in a certain pocket, maybe that would poke through and be uncomfortable. It has not been an issue. I carry this in the pant leg of my cargo pants. All right, I have my EDC organizer. I have this floating around next to it. It's turned and twisted and stuff, but I've never had it like poke me or hurt or damage my shorts or pants or anything like that. So. I had no issues thus far. This would be, uh, I think, even better for a woman in her purse or if you happen to have an EDC bag because it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. So I don't think this is something everyone needs in their life or you know, it's a must have EDC item, but I think it's super cool. It's a very interesting concept and it does work really well. And it actually you know, performed the perfect job. The very first day I carry this, I went to a public bathroom and I needed it. Without it, yeah, I could have went to the bathroom there and just, you know, 
held the door shut, I guess, with my arm or my hand, or if I heard someone coming, I could have put my foot up. You know, that's a little uncomfortable, I suppose. And I will say that no one in my entire life, no one's ever like tried to force their way into my stall. There's been times where people have tugged the door and I'm like, hey, someone's in here. You know, there's been uh, times where actually I was going to the bathroom. I'll tell you a quick story. I was going uh, number two at a, what was it? It was either Goodwill or Salvation Army. And I, you know, you have to ask for the key to go to the bathroom. So I asked for the key. I went to the bathroom. And in this particular case, it was a very large bathroom. Let's say this is the toilet. The toilet was like in the corner of this large room, probably like a 10 by 10 room. And the door was over here. So it's not one of those, it was a single bathroom. So it's one sink, one toilet, that's it. Um, and it's not one of the cases where you can like, you know, hold the door shut. So what ended up happening was I'm going to the bathroom there. I had like a stomach ache, who knows, maybe ate out for dinner or something. It wasn't, you know, sitting right. So I'm in there just, you know, hoping to finish as soon as possible and feel more comfortable. And uh, I hear jiggling on the door handle. And before I can say, hey, someone's in here, an old lady opens the door, sees me, pants down on the toilet, doing my business. She goes, oh, oh, geez, I'm so sorry. And she's like having a conversation about how sorry she is. I'm like, can you shut the door, please? And I'm trying to like, you know, cover the, you know, the family jewels and all that stuff. So she's not getting that much of a view there. It was horrendous. It was a horrible experience. What ended up happening was she said, because afterwards she apologized again when I was done and came out. She said that she tried to open the door, but it, it was locked. So she thought that at this particular location, people lock the door all the time in accident. So it was no big deal for her to grab the key and unlock. Even though I had one key with me, she unlocked it and came in thinking it was empty. She never knocked on the door. So that's what her big apology. I'm sorry. I didn't, you know, I didn't knock first. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. You had to see that, I guess, you know, so we're even. <laughs> so. Yeah, I've had, like I said, some very strange bathroom experiences. So I happen to just really like this tool. I think it's pretty neat. So let me know down in the comment section. Um, have you had any weird bathroom situations or are you just a normal human being? And occasionally you have to go in public and you do and there's just no issues at all. Uh, consider yourself pretty lucky. That would be pretty sweet. I'm hoping this day moving forward, I have no more issues in public bathrooms. So we'll see. But anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day and scroll on Instagram. You never know what you're going to find. I do find these strangest things. And I've been posting on uh, Facebook too about these weird Timu ads I'm getting all the time for just the dumbest, stupidest stuff. The products I see all the time on there. It's just, oh my God. One day I'm going to have to order from Timu. There is a bunch of random stuff I do want to try out. Uh, like, you know, cheap, cheap gear related stuff. But We'll see. Anyway, that's it. Hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.